So if you've taken any accounting courses or any basic finance courses, you've probably been exposed to something uh, called the time value of money. So we hear this concept a lot and it's something very important to the foundations of finance and to some degree accounting. So we want to talk about, well, what does this mean from a conceptual point of view? What it, What is the concept here? What are we talking about when we say that money uh, has a time value. So, so let's let's look at this through an example. So let's let's take an example here. Let's say that I offer you you two options. Okay. Now, one of the options is going to be that I give you one hundred dollars cash today. Hundred dollars today. And then in the other option, we're going to say that I give you. Let's change colors here again. Let's say I give you a hundred dollars one year from now one year from now now let's just assume for a moment that when I say I'll give you the hundred dollars one year from now uh, that that's certain that's not something that that I might not pay it or, or something like that it's, it's guaranteed you either get a hundred dollars today or you got a hundred dollars one year from now but either way there, there's no risk associated with it you're going to get the the hundred dollars so let's look at these two options now which would you prefer now you might say well I just prefer the hundred dollars today because I just I just want the money I have something I'm already going to spend it on but let, let's just forget about that for a moment let's assume that you don't have necessarily have anything you want to buy but you do want the hundred dollars well you you might think well I'm indifferent uh, whether I get it today or whether it's one year from now but but let's think about this because the money has a time value now now let's illustrate this so let's 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 look at a little timeline here so here in this option we're getting the hundred dollars right here which we'll call we'll call this that's today right right here this is today and then over here uh, this is this is one year from now one year uh, now let's let's go down uh, to our other option and we'll have a little timeline and again we've got uh, right here is is today and you're not getting anything today there, there's nothing here uh, because you're getting it one year from now you're going to be handed uh, right here a hundred dollars now let's let's think about things here for a moment so when we get the one hundred dollars here today what can we do with that money well you could go out and spend it or something but let's just assume that you do you didn't spend it well what else could you do you could invest that money now let's say that you invested in something and you you ended up getting uh, a, a five percent return let's say you took it to the bank and uh, you, you got a five percent return on, on some kind of investment now what's going to happen is that at the end of that year you don't have a hundred dollars anymore well what do you have uh, you're gonna have a hundred times 1.05 which is going to be uh, that's gonna be a hundred and five dollars so we see that if you get the money today if you get it sooner rather than later there's a value to getting it earlier because it can be invested to earn a rate of return and then at the end of the period you end up having more money than what you started with now when we look at the other option where you get a hundred dollars at the end of the year you didn't have the option uh, of investing it here uh, because you didn't have the money so when you get the money sooner rather than later it has more there's more value there because you can go ahead and invest the money and earn a return on it so that's what we're talking about uh, when people say uh, that the time value of money uh, they're just basically saying that money is something that if you're looking at cash flows uh, cash flow today or cash flow in the future uh, a cash flow today all else equal the same amount is going to have more value because it can be invested for that that return uh, so now you might be thinking well how does this how does this have real world applications or, or what are we thinking about but let's let's say we've got some project that the firm is thinking about that project you might say okay well we're gonna uh, buy this machine and and it would uh, get, get generate cash flows over a period of let's say the five years so you can look at these these different years and you can go and say okay here's here's year one two three four five and you can say okay well we estimate that in year one if we get this machine 
Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a hundred dollars in cash flow in year two, 175, uh, year three, 200, uh, 300, and then let's say in the last year it only it generates 50. But what you can do is say, okay, well, now we we know we've got we we're estimating these cash flows, but now what we want to do is we want to say, okay, well, like for example, here in year five. That fifty dollars, we can't just add all these all these together and say, okay, well now we've got this sum and this is how much it's gonna is gonna generate from this product. We have to take into account that fifty dollars five years from now is not worth the same as fifty dollars today. So what we're gonna do is account for this uh, time value uh, of money and uh, TV, maybe not the best uh, little acronym I have there, but the time value of money. We're gonna look at this. And we're going to say, well, what if we can just go ahead and say we earn a 5% interest on all our investments? Then we can say, okay, let's let's figure out what that $50 five years from now is worth to, in terms of today's dollars. And when we do that, what we're doing is called discounting cash flows. So we're discounting cash flows. So those those... That 50 here, this is a cash flow in year five. And what we're doing is we're saying, what's the rate of return we could have earned on that, on money today? Let's say 5%, 7%, whatever it is. And then in, let's use that to go ahead and, and discount this number and say, so it's going to be something less than 50 because maybe it's you know 30 or 35 or whatever, yeah, depending on your discount rate, could have been invested today to get 55 years from now. So when we talk about discounting cash flows, uh, what we're doing is we're using the, the time value of money concept and some other formulas that we're going to talk about in other videos uh, to take future cash flows and figure out uh, what are they worth today.